it's uh, Saturday morning and uh, out for another re stretch those legs walk about seven eight miles today um, sunny weather again and uh, it's great to be out again after a week working today we're going in a slightly different way this is Hales Street and goes out to Hales Abbey which is where we're heading for first of all and we'll be using the Eastbourne Way to get out of Winchcombe and then cross on to the Cotswold Way just coming out of Winchcombe that's where the Cotswold Way exits Winchcombe and heads off to Hales but as I said we'll be going down the Isborne Way so across the Star and go into the field I just had a little climb up getting close to the Cotswold Way so we'll be joining the Cotswold Way on the section that runs between Winchcombe which is down that way and obviously that would come up from Bath going north and then come along here and then out that way is Hales Abbey which would then go on to Broadway and eventually they finish at Chippy and Camden up there is where I came down from on my last stretch in those legs walk as I said we're going to go down the Cotswold Way a lot of the Cotswold Way has been developed with better gates and uh, styles but this is a old-fashioned one hopefully they'll keep it it's really nice just cross into a little brook and then we'll go across the field just coming into Hales and uh, we're joining Salters Lane which is on the Salt Way that they used to take the salt from the Cheshire salt mines down to Letchlade which is 120 miles then transfer them onto barges and take the salt into London so we just wander down the Salt Way and then turn right to go down towards Hales Abbey we've done just over two miles and we've arrived at Hales there's the small church opposite where the abbey is you can probably just see the abbey through the trees but uh, we're going to carry on up the road for about a quarter of a mile and then we'll climb up through the woods just walking up the track through the woods fruit farms down there just listen to the birds Sounds like they're totally oblivious to all that's going on in the world. Helps ground us all in these times. Just come out of the wood and Cotswold Way goes up to Beckbury Camp and Cromwell's Tump. But you can see we've climbed quite high, not completely at the top of the Scotland yet but a good way so onwards and upwards I'm almost at the top now it's quite a pull up there but we're at the top so it's nice there's Cromwell's seat 
on the top. Perhaps in 1539, when Thomas Cromwell, not Oliver, but Thomas, was said to have sat on the top of the hill and watched the dissolution of Hales Abbey. Those trees weren't there. But it's certainly a lovely view for now. You've got Winchcombe in the distance, hills on the, at the back. It's Cleve Hill. And then we come across to the Farm Coat Valley. And up here is Beckbury Hillfort. Around 2 BC. Obviously, commanding views across the valley and earthworks at the back to stop anybody attacking from that angle. But as you can see, it'd be quite a pull up there to then fight anybody that's in the castle. Right, we're going to carry on on the Cotswold Way to look at Stanway Tree Avenue. Just coming up to the avenue here, but I thought I'd show you the ramparts. They're um, quite impressive. I didn't realize they were quite that large. Uh, must be 10, 12 feet high. And uh, you can just see the start of the avenue up there. Obviously, uh, people that have got nice big houses might like to make statements, either with grand houses or features in their garden. But uh, this house here, which is Stanway House, um, created an avenue of trees that goes from the top of the hill down past the house which is just the other side of the woods and then you can see them going across the field to the lake right we'll carry on and show you what the view is like actually down the avenue of trees Certainly a lovely day, great to be out. I met a few walkers, kept our distance. But this is going to be busy along here because this is the Cotswold Way. So there's your avenue of trees that disappears off into the distance. And then when we came around this way, He's uh, put in a lovely gate and then see the trees down past his house and then out to the lake. We're still on the Cotswold Way but this is where we leave the Cotswold Way which goes off left down towards Broadway and then on to the finish at Camden. Uh, so we're going to use what's known as Camden Lane. I assume that this was an old drover's track that went between Camden and Sapperton. I'm not sure if it goes on any further than that. But it's quite a nice little lane to walk down. Generally it's quite peaceful. We've got hedges either side with hazel, hawthorn, elder and then there are a few little coppices 
that we go through. Well, it's certainly nice to be in the shade. I think it's going to be another hot day. My new boot I tried for the first time last week. Still okay. No hot spot. Really comfortable. As I said, a little bit more room for my toes. Fun. Tracks turning off. We're going back on the more of a footpath into the wood. Pretty peaceful. It's a nice place to stop, get my hammock out, sling it between a couple of trees, have a drink, listen to the birds, see squirrels, and you can hear sometimes the buzzards calling above. But today, this is a training hike, so push on. I normally do this walk the other way around because this long straight road is downhill. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to climb up here. As you can see, chickens are free range and you can buy some nice eggs. We're just approaching the salt way, but from the other direction from last week. So this road here is the salt way, and that goes down to Lechlade. And we just carry along this bit. I assume in ancient times, the path would go straight up, but the farmers had it moved, so it goes around its field. And this is the sign to Little Farm Coat and the northern section, shall we call it, of the Salt Way that would take you up to Cheshire salt mines. But we're going down the road on the route that we came up last week. One last look at the view before we reach Winchcombe. It's a different view from what we normally get. And there's a reasonable view of the castle. My boots are doing well, so I'm happy with those. I did say I would review my belt pack, but I haven't managed to do that. So I promise I'll do it on the next video. I hope you've enjoyed my video. If you have, please subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get a notification of my next video. And I'll see you soon.